What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be working again on Prospector Bob, doing a little project that coincides with the last video on Prospector Bob, kind of with the heater. I actually don't think this truck has a problem uh, with what we're going to fix, but this video will be really helpful for a lot of you. And I actually have a video way back on my channel, the first video I ever made on how to do this. So we're just going to revisit that. I'm going to do it on this truck. But I'm going to show you how to clean out your heater box in your truck. So before we start, let me show you first uh, the OG crew cab, which I've done this modification on and why it's important. And then I'll show you the products you'll need to buy, which I have links for all of those. Right here, this is the heater box. And what notoriously happens is you get uh, full of leaves and debris and crap all back in here by the heater core and it makes your heater core very inefficient. Um, open this up. Right here and look, you can see right there, I've already got leaves collecting in there. So without doing this modification, there's no way to get in here and clean all this stuff out. Um, so it's very useful because I can take this cap off and clean it out whenever I want. And I just cleaned this out uh, probably about six months ago. And you can see it's already getting full of stuff again. Another telltale sign is if you switch your heat on in your truck you'll hear a bunch of leaves rustle around over in this direction that means you've got leaves in here so all right so here's what you need this is a marine deck plate and i've got a link to this in the description below uh, from amazon i think it was about 20 bucks uh, and then you will need also a four and a half inch hole saw. So I've got this in the description as well. This is about 15 bucks and it comes with the mandrel and everything. So uh, kind of a, a really good deal actually. So for everything, um, about 35 bucks or so. And then I went to my local Ace and I got some hardware. Some people do this and they just put self tappers in through here. I think that looks pretty ratty and ugly. I really like these hex bolts right here. I think they look really clean. I got black for this one. You could see on the OG crew cab, I had the same bolts, but they were um, chrome. So I really like those. I didn't care what color the nut was because it wouldn't be seen, but that's what I'm gonna do. So let's now go out to the truck. We'll take this with the drill. I'll show you exactly where to drill at. You kind of have to be careful with where you drill at because you don't want to drill into the heater core and ruin your heater core. So. Let's go ahead and uh, take all this stuff out there and get it taken care of. Should, shouldn't take more than a couple minutes. Sorry, I took a pit stop at the OG crew cab uh, to show you this one more time. Um, so as far as the placement goes, you can see there's kind of a crease right here in the heater box. And I did this hole probably about two inches away from that. I wouldn't do it any more to the left than two inches from that hole. I got fairly close to the heater core right here. So on the other crew cab, I think I'm going to do it about three inches out and just make sure once the drill goes through, don't keep pushing it through. Uh, just let it pass through and, and then pull it back out. So, so let's go uh, drill a hole in the heater box real quick. Everyone loves the view from my house. Hit that like button below. Um, great view. And hit the like button because I'm about to drill a hole in a perfectly good heater box, but it's for a good cause. All right, so here is that crease. Not as clean as my other truck, but I'm gonna come over and have the edge be about right here. And I need to also make sure that I've got room on the top and the bottom for the lip of the plate to screw into. Okay. 
Okay. All right, let's do it. There we go. And you can see, like I said, I didn't think this was a huge issue in this truck, but I mean, look at that. We've got some type of rock in there. Kind of a cool rock. A bunch of pine needles, leaves, another rock. So this is a good chance too to, you know, get some wipes and some cleaner and clean that out. I'm not going to do that in this video because that's pretty self-explanatory. All right, I've got the deck plate here. I'm going to take the cap off. Right there. It's a perfect fit. Okay, we've got all the holes marked with a Sharpie. All right guys, that's all there is to it. Super easy modification and very helpful. So I clean that out usually a couple times a year and it's so easy to do that there's no reason not to. So I'm gonna go ahead, grab the shop back and uh, vacuum that out. But I'll let you guys go ahead and uh, start ordering the stuff to do this on your trucks. Make sure if you have success with this and you see someone talking about it or asking about it, share this video with them and make sure you hit that like button before you leave. We'll see you guys in the next video.